What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to Fuzzy Motion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're gonna go ahead and random. And I don't care who we get, I don't care what happens, but we're gonna do it fast, we're gonna do it hard, and we're gonna do it dirty. Except when we get any shit. Alright, so our goal for right now, get this run done in under 40 minutes. Is it possible? I don't know, not with me playing, but we'll find out. Ah, you dirty rat bastard. Maybe if I lose, <laughs> we'll get it done within that amount of time. All right, we get a key and we pick up the miter right off the bat. That's great because Eve actually has a uh, better chance of getting uh, soul heart drops to begin with. So the fact that we picked up the miter is actually a big pickup for us. We're going to go ahead and uh, keep moving on. Goes another scent. And the shop is up there glaring at us knowing that if we get the money, we could possibly visit it. And all of our dreams could come true. Possible. Compass. Map. Blue Candle. Oh, if we can get Blue Candle. We're in good shape if that happens, let me tell you right now. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this trinket, which is the Safety Cap. Safety Cap is going to give us an opportunity, hopefully, to uh, accrue some more pills along the way. Uh, I don't know if necessarily they're good or bad. All I do know is that this uh, game is part of a previous session, which means we will have an opportunity to visit Angel Rooms, should we earn them. Oh, oh, oh. Almost, almost. Uh, I can't quite get in there. We're going to fight the boss first. And although there's no chance for us to get a devil room now, I just feel like fighting the boss with all of our available HP is the smart thing to do rather than trying to do it after we sacrifice a heart getting into the curse room. So assuming that we can get some HP to replace uh, the hearts that we're going to miss out on, by going into the curse room, then we shall go into the curse room. So in other words, red heart drop, we go curse. Red heart no drop, we no go curse. And if we don't at least get a heart to drop, then we ain't going curse room. But I'm glad that dead bird activated because now this fart, this fart, yeah, this fight will be a little bit easier to uh, sit through. We did get a spirit heart for our troubles here. If we can come across a bomb or something, that'd be great. Oh, don't get hit by that spider. Okay, you take care of that one. I'll take care of this one. Teamwork. It's great when it works. No, don't come over here. I, I'm, we're good. All right, so we pick up an HP upgrade. This makes the curse room a viability. Let's go ahead and see what it holds. And it is Guppy's head, which uh, is an interesting pickup. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go all the way. What is happening? What is all that? Why can't I? Oh, my God. What the hell? I was stuck at the door for a second there. Oh, because I didn't let. Okay, I see what happened. Hold on just a second, I'm going to pause the recording and then uh, see what the hell's going on. And we're back! I apologize for the short mishap, but uh, apparently something else on my computer was spewing forth noise and it was causing for a little bit of a disruption here. Um, okay, here we are on the cellar part two. We're going to go ahead and act like nothing happened, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get inside this item room and find something amazing to happen. Uh, I'm striking those last three minutes from the record because they don't count. Pick up a spirit heart, and we find telepathy for dummies, which is not worth its weight in gold. It's not worth its weight in, in dog shit, actually. But uh, we will pick it up and hopefully have the chance to spawn a uh, library later, because if I can come across Book of Belial or Book of Revelations, that'll be well worth our time. Uh, let's exit and look for something else to happen. I'm going to spawn the hell out of these um, attack flies. You're going to see attack flies like you've never seen them before. Every single room. I mean, I'm not guppy, but I'm close. I, I will... Sp I will keep it in the space bar as many times as I possibly can in order to become Guppy. Let's see what's inside of our curse room. This is a... Oh, baby. That is a teleport to a great thing. So we got our first angel room item. It turned out to be Guardian Angel. Familiar that kind of blocks shots and damages enemies. Makes other familiars a little bit more uh, effective as they circle around us. Oh, that was just dumb damage to take. Come on now. Come on now. You're better than this. Let's go. You're better than this. Come on. You're the king of New York. Let's go. King of New York. Pick up another scent. And we're going to move out into the right. Hopefully finding the boss room as we move that way. And I'm sorry if I'm a little lazy mouth. But I, for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. But whenever I can't hear my own voice, I, I, I tend to not announce it. Kind of like, not trying to make fun of anybody here. But, you know, kind of like someone who's, uh, you know, deaf. And they can't hear their own tone. Uh, I kind of suffer from that in my current setup. But I can't hear what I sound like, and sometimes I just make like the weirdest sounding noises uh, when I'm trying to talk English here, you know, just like, uh, I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, I, all I want to do is just take the safety fucking cap. Just give me the safety cap and get out of my way. 
Oh, this is going to be one of those things, isn't it? It's going to ruin our time. All right, we got to get out of here. Let's make it happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You want some, you want some. Come on, come on. All right. Got to find the boss room and make our way down. Progress. We need to make some progress here. Not making any progress just by hanging around doing nothing. All right, so we found our boss room. Uh, two extra spirit hearts and fighting pin. I feel very confident about possibly getting a deal with the angel, but anyway, we already have that item, so, you know, no reason in worrying about it, I suppose. Maybe it would help to fire tears in the right direction. All right, let's just dodge that. Hopefully, Pin will damage himself. It'll make this fight a lot easier. And just dodging a few more shots. Maybe if I'm getting real ballsy, I can uh, find a way to get uh, Angel Baby to damage him a little bit. But that's calling it a little too close for comfort, if you ask me. Um, let's see. No bombs to speak of and uh, no way to access anything else on the floor. So we're just going to get the heck out of here. Provided that uh, we don't get pink screened. Here we are, Curse of the Labyrinth, Caves XL. Uh, this is a little shitty, only because we're going to miss out on a shop. And I'm not too thrilled about that. Uh, the prospect of finding Blue Candle was very enticing. I was very excited to possibly come across that. This pill, tears down. That is a bummer. Uh, hopefully we can offset that by finding something else that's amazing. I don't know. Skinny Odd Mushroom would be the perfect fix to what just happened there. And Dead Bird needs to start doing something. If we can find a way to get rid of these uh, wretched red hearts, then going into permanent uh, Horror of Babylon state would be nice. But I don't know if that can happen. Guppy's Paw might be able to make that work. But uh, again, we'd have to come across it through a curse room or a devil room. And uh, I just don't say, I honestly thought I could squeeze through those two flies. If you're wondering why I just barreled towards them, uh, that was why. But uh, having said all those things, Guppy's Head is doing a fine job, but uh, we need to get some damage because <clears throat> despite the fact that it does twice as much of our current damage, our current damage is nothing to gloat about. So, I mean, in reality, it's kind of doing like Book of Belial damage if we were playing as Judas, maybe? Like, maybe even worse, to be honest. But, uh... I don't know, like, if we can get some more damage, then those flies will obviously do a little bit more. If we can come across some more guppy items, and we can turn into guppy, and then good... Th oh, that was uncalled for. Like, how did that even... What the fuck did... Like, I don't understand. Alright, so we pick up another spirit heart to kind of make up for the one we lost there. And we go down to this room, and everything's just dodging into me, because, like, they fucking know exactly where I'm gonna be before I do. That's just upsetting. I don't even have knockback, and it's just... Uh, I don't know. Alright, so. Move onward. No need to cry over spilled tears or milk or whatever it is that uh, Eve's secreting these days. But we do have a key, and with that key I'd hope to access our item room if we can ever find the goddamn thing. Did find another scent. We are coming close to becoming shop-worthy. So if we do come across four extra scents, I would like to make a shot at going to the shop. And the reason being is because if Greed... Oh, okay. If Greed's not there, then maybe we can buy, you know, the item that it has. But also, maybe we can buy some extra keys. And, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, come on, just die. All right, that pill. Don't know what it is, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try and access it. All right. What do we got here? We don't know. Bad trip. Uh, the more you know, right? The more you know... Um, I guess what we do here is we go in here. <laughs> okay, tough love. Uh, if I can get some luck up pills, that might help our damage so that we spit exclusively teeth. 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 Speaking like I'm in Detroit or something. Uh, hoping that Judgment will be nice enough to pay out with a key, which he did. And hopefully pay out with an item. Mom's purse is sufficient. We don't have any other trinkets to speak of, but in case we come across any, we'll be gladly picking them up. Ghost Baby is a fine pickup as well. Maybe we can get the firing squad going and uh, hopefully make use of our lack of damage and supplement that with five shooting familiars. I don't know. I mean, like, you know, an Eve run, you need a lot to get off the ground. We all know this. It's no secret. Eve is not a great character. Probably one of the worst, if not the worst. But... 
With the current setup, all is not lost. Like, it, you know, we... Okay. Unless I do shit like that. I honestly thought he was dead. I don't know what came over me. I need some... I need some red hearts. Not gonna lie. But, I mean, at least now we're in Horror Babylon state, and in, in that respect, our damage is much better, right? Found the secret room. That's cool. Uh, it'd be really nice to come across raw liver right now. The one-up is all right. I'll take the one-up. At least now we don't have to worry about dying within the next few rooms. Uh, what else do we have up here? Okay, there is a tinted rock. I definitely want to access that uh, ASAP. So I'm going to do that right now. That gave us a spirit heart and a tears down bullshit. So I'm just going to ignore the tears down. And uh, uh, just, why do these guys jump around so much when you hit them? Like, stay in one spot. Shit's bold. Okay, that was stupid. Um, I guess scapular would be really nice right about now. Uh, more so for the synergy that it would produce with uh, the D6, but more or less... Alright, I can't access that. More or less because... We can stay in our horror Babylon state, kind of toe the line between death and reincarnate. I don't have any bombs to access that money, but that money is pretty enticing. All right, just keep your distance. Don't get flanked. You should be all right. Okay, kill one of them, and the rest should fall in line. Okay, not bad. Let's see what else this floor has to offer. All those bombs would be really nice if we could pick them up, but uh, unfortunately I can't do anything about it. These guys are going to piss me off, and of course I'm going to die. But with the one up, come right back to life. There's no real reason to go in there. Um, don't see any benefit of it. Let's go ahead and see what's over here. Let's just not do something stupid like die again. That would be most embarrassing. Um, I would almost rather pick up the Ankh at this point, because at least with the Ankh, we would have Horror Babylon state, and then also our damage would be increased not only because of Horror Babylon, but because Blue Baby is the damage. Like, he starts off with better damage than Eve, so I think if we find the Ankh, we almost purposely want to kill ourselves. It's just the only way I see getting out of this. Burnt Penny is interesting. Uh, if we can come across some more change and pick it up, we can hopefully get some bombs, and those bombs will perpetuate more bombs, and then, you know, you get the idea. Alright, so with full health, we're going to go fight the boss. I hope that that boss is something easy, or the the tandem of bosses, something easy so that I can rest my weary head and know that we can make it onto the next floor. Teeth, 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 shoot teeth. Not tears, teeth. Oh, you fucker. Come on, straight line, chub. Straighten up. Shape up or ship out, man. All right, all right. And up this way. Uh-huh. Almost got me. That was quick. He was very... He turned on me very fast there. Wasn't expecting that. HP upgrade. I'll take it. Let's get some flies going here. And let's go and fight Gertie. So our flies really didn't do much. Oh, God. I was hoping to dodge that. I really want to get rid of these nubs because these nubs worry me. Uh, let's see if we can't do some more damage with, uh, Angel Fetus. Oh, here we go. Come on. Guardian Angel, do your worst. Okay. Close. I'm getting too close for comfort here. I'm trying to be as offensive as I possibly can with my orbital. And it's, it's, I don't know if it's worth more than, it's worth more fucking damage than it's worth. I don't know. It's more trouble than it's worth is what I'm trying to say. Let's continue on the path of the righteous. Okay, there goes a half red heart. I want to pick that up so as not to blow our chances here. This is a champion version of a nub. So it's going to drop something. That is not what I wanted it to drop. But the shot speed upgrade is not terrible, but the Empress card is kind of nice, and at least it gives us the opportunity to drop the tears down card. So let's just go ahead and see if we can't clear out the rest of this floor. Hopefully, all right, that's what I wanted to have happen, and now we're in the driver's seat, right? If I can get just one bomb, 
That opens up the door to so many other things, I think, that uh, right now, the key to our success on this floor, before we leave, is to get one bomb. And that can be as easy as getting one bomb to drop, or getting a scent to drop, picking up that scent, and then spawning a bomb. So, let's go. Come on, bomb. So with that bomb, I can garner more bombs. Possibly look for the top secret room. That top secret room can give us another HP upgrade. Through an eternal heart. I mean, you get my drift, right? You know, the possibilities are endless. The world is your oyster. So let's look for that one scent that's going to make everything better. That one magical scent that's going to change the world. Here we go. Ooh, that was a nasty tooth. That was a molar. It was not an incisor. Those weren't baby teeth. That was fully grown adult tit, a tooth coming right at you. Okay, this champion, I want you to be over some solid footing ground before I kill you, just in case you do drop. Okay, that bomb is exactly what I asked for. Let's get some Guppy's head flies going around us now. If we can just get this one bomb to give us more bombs, I think we've essentially solved a lot more problems. So well, here's what I'm going to do. A little sneaky maneuver. I'm going to drop a bomb, and then I'm going to leave. Then I'm going to come back and get the hell out of the way. Oh, it didn't work. I hoped it was going to work. Fuck. Okay, well, I tried. There goes my insight for the day. When you leave a room and you come back, it ends up damaging, like, one more block worth of space. And I was hoping that that one block would, uh, find its way over to us and, uh, you know, give us access to those juicy, juicy bombs, but it did not do so, so unfortunately we're shit out of luck, as the phrase goes. Um, hoping not to walk into these guys. That would be most unwelcome. Okay, can you walk in one fucking direction so that I can hit the meaty part of your brain? Like, Jesus Christ, you're not cooperating at all. Fucking, did you read the script? Script is, I walk in, you walk in direction, I shoot you in back of head, you die. Why you're improvising right now, I don't know. This pill, balls of steel, that's phenomenal. And the Empress card we definitely want to bring along with us. These guys are going to be a little bit of an issue. So we can, uh, come on, just get the fuck away from me. I don't understand why... Well, I understand exactly why there's such a pain in the ass, because my damage is shit. Alright. No. No such rock, and no keys. Okay. So we need keys now. <laughs> Let's add that to the list of things that we need in order to succeed. Alright. Let's just... Is this an Empress room? Do I pop the Empress right here? I don't think so. But, uh, it's tempting. I'll tell you that much. There's the spirit heart. Definitely want to pick that up. Miter at work. Thank you very much. Okay. Just kind of play it calm and collective. All right. Here goes a bomb. So we at least have that much working for us. Uh, the shop is now a possibility if we can find a way in there, but I need keys. Unfortunately, I don't have any to speak of. Alright. And the shitty thing is, is that even if we come across some keys, going to the shop probably isn't, at this point, the best idea. As the shop may, in fact, contain greed. Although it shouldn't. I mean, I haven't even been to a shop yet, but, you know, the way this game works, RNG, baby. RNGs is for life. He is our savior and grace. Finding the secret room is kind of out of the question. As of right now, I mean, I could picture where it should be, but that's going to take a little bit too much mental fortitude at the moment, so I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm, I'm foreboding it. I'm, I'm it, Das ist verboten. Das ist sehr verboten. We are not entering the secret room. Sorry, guys. If you had your heart set on that, I know I did. Get the fuck out of here. I was almost certain you'd be dead by the time you got to me. What does this card do? High Priestess. Do we take the High Priestess or the Empress? I think we take the Empress. 
Because then we can kind of control where our damage goes. But these leapers are a little bit of an issue. Because they're not dying as quickly as I'd like them to. They're getting a little too creative with their jumping schemes. Come on. Alright, this bomb. Do I really want it that bad? Probably not. If I need it, I'll come in back and I'll come back in and get it, but I don't think I need it that bad. I was hoping for that chain reaction, thank goodness. Uh, now what color is that nub? Well, obviously it's black, but what color is it? Is it a green nub at heart, or is it a red nub? I don't know. That gives another spirit heart. Thank you very much. Miter at work. Come on. That's just bullshit. Okay, where did my fucking flies go? See, that's the thing. If you try to use Guppy's head in between, like, a doorway, you gotta wait for those flies to spawn, man. Otherwise, you run the chance of not letting them fucking spawn, and then who knows what'll happen. You'll be flyless. No fly love for you. I'm tempted to kick in a bomb. Because this fight might last forever if I don't. Come on. Come on. Just die. Crowd control is a little bit of an issue right now. It takes a while for me to get rid of the riffraff. Let's kick that in. There we go. Bob's Rotten Head. Interesting choice. Not going to use it, but it's still an interesting choice. Picked up a key, thank goodness. And I think with that key, we have to go to the item room. At this point, we're too late into the game. Plus, well, wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Let's put our thinking caps on here and not make a blundering error. We just fought a mini boss, and that means that there aren't there can't be greed in the shop, but there is a bum friend, and I don't really care for it. Um Well I mean, he's bound to give us more consumables, and considering that we haven't come across that many, that might be the uh <laughs> the fix we need. Um, we're gonna need another key though. So, bum friend, I'm gonna need you to get on that. Like, immediately. Come across some money, you know it's all yours. Uh, this kind of detracts from the Burt Penny, although we do have three bombs already. God damn it. So I'm not too worried as to, like, you know, our bomb situation, but if I do need some bombs, I will immediately cut you off. Bum friend. And we be getting that, uh, that Burt Penny action. Okay. This room scares me. As is, I might try to use some bombs to help move this fight along, but, uh, I don't know if I should. I'm going to. And I wasted a bomb. God damn it. Alright. Just play it cool. Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. I know that you're gonna have it your way or nothing at all. But I think you're moving too fast, Mr. Zombie. Moving way too fast. Okay, you died. And why did I fucking walk into you? And I just picked up that coin because I was in the middle of the room. Alright, so we're gonna access this chest. Hopefully it has some money in it. To make use of uh, Bum's friends, abilities, no such truck. Maybe we'll come across the pageant boy in the boss room. Who knows? Little gish. Uh, obviously, pageant boy is out of the question. We're going to use... Uh, I probably shouldn't have used the Book of Belial, the devil card, on uh, this room. But I just want to hurry this fight along. The longer we stay around in here, the more likely we are to take damage. And I'm just not all about taking damage these days. It's... Kind of a sore spot for me, I'll be honest with you. Alright, just stay in one fucking spot so I can land some shots. Otherwise, we're gonna be here a while, buddy. You don't wanna be here. You don't wanna be here any longer than I'm here. I wanna be here. Which is not very long. I'm gonna shuffle you loose the mortal coil. Come on. Alright, the creep doesn't damage you, but it does slow you down, and it makes escaping a little tricky. Okay. Just get out of my fucking way with the creep. wonder why that creep's not going away. Oh, God, get out of the way. Don't jump. Uh, you're, not, you're not helping me out here. You're not working with me at all, and now you're fucking off spawn. Decided it wanted to hit me. Dick. You're a dick. You're a stupid, stupid black... Okay. I see where this is going. Glob of bullshit and hatred. Little Gish is a great familiar. 
We'll be taking that down to the next floor. I'm just going to pop this once and then head on down. Because I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Alright, thank goodness we don't have Curse of Darkness anymore. That would have been two rows, two floors in a row with Curse of Darkness. And I don't know if I could have if I could have dealt with that. I don't, oh, God, get away from me. Come on. I hate when they corner you like that. Oh, shit. Okay. And there it is. So, Bum Friend actually picked up his first scent of, of his uh, life cycle here. Okay, you're running right at me. You are the most aggressive brain I think I've ever come across my entire life. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Okay. So, we found the boss room. Wouldn't be a smart idea to go in it just yet, only because we have no way of accessing the rest of the floor. Once we go in there, it's, it's you know, it's for keeps. Unless we can get a teleport card of some sort. So, if we can come across that, we'll go into the boss fight early. Otherwise, and we keep fighting. But, you know, it's better than fighting these than Masks of Infamy, I suppose. Just fucking look in one direction, would you? You make this so difficult. Look at this. Dead bird, do something. Do something, dead bird. Alright, there you go. Slow him down. Keep going in that direction. Cool. Bum friend, I hope you got that penny, because I know I didn't. Alright, let's get these guys. Hopefully this uh, guppy's head will do a little bit for us. And I'm still taking damage. Like a boss. Like, it, like it's my job. You eat that uh, pea soup like it's your job. It's because it is my job. Alright, we got ourselves a key. Where to use that key? Well, 10 cents isn't going to do much in the shop. Chances are it's greed. Unless we find out for sure it's not. But I think our chances, our hope lies in finding the item room. And that item room is going to contain Skinny Odd Mushroom. And that's going to be the difference maker at the, at the moment. Is that the ultimate difference maker? I don't think so, but, uh, you know, I'd like to think that that's going to contribute somewhat to it. That boss trap room is very enticing. It probably holds some sort of HP upgrade. If it has growth hormones or something like that, I would definitely jump at the opportunity to take that. Although we won't find out unless we come across some sort of uh, blood bank or way to lower our red hearts reliably without putting ourselves in peril. Wow, these uh, bloody things are really a pain in the ass. Um, more flies. Another spirit heart. If we can generate enough spirit hearts, I'm going to feel really good about going to said blood bank, which happens to be right here. Um, but just okay. Fucking just jumped in the air to go like six feet. Not even. Six inches. That was annoying. So I think what we do is, with this one key, alright, we can't, alright, we can't do that just yet. Obviously we're going to damn ourselves before this floor is even over, and I don't want that to happen. Alright, just, come on, just one of you die. There we go. Things are starting to open up a little, oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, health is a sore spot. Without a doubt, health is a sore spot. We got ourselves another key. Uh, I would love to go to that curse room, but I just don't see that as a possibility. Hopefully I can come across, like, a full health pill or something like that, or just some way to get ourselves an HP upgrade. Uh, you know, just a red heart upgrade or something like that. These zombies are the fucking worst right now. Like, they are literally my Achilles heel. Okay, we got ourselves another key. Some more flies. There's our item room, finally. More bombs. I know I took those cents without even asking if you wanted them, bum friend, but unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about that. My greed knows no limits. So the bean's not going to help us. It's not that thing that's going to put us ahead of the curve here. But with 16 cents, I don't see a reason we shouldn't go into the shop, and here's why. If we fight greed, we fight greed. All that extra money will hopefully give Bub Friend a reason to spit something out for us to use. And if we don't find greed, then we got an item. But uh, we did find greed, just like uh, we thought. 
So we're just gonna hoe. We're we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hoe ahead. Yeah, we're gonna hoe him. We're, this is a regular hoe down. It's a greed down. All right, all that money, bum friend. Do what you do. Uh, what? Six extra cents? Five extra cents? Okay, a bomb. Nothing else. You sure you don't want to spit out some red hearts, buddy? No. Okay. Nice. So we have 16 cents, and it is burning a hole in my pocket. So I'm going to go back to this arcade and start playing the shit out of the three-headed Monty and uh, the roulette machine here. Okay, that pill. I'm not sure. Oh, it's bad trip. Oh, well, you know what? Bad trip becomes full health when you get down to half a heart. So I think what we do here is we... Yep. What? What even is that? You shitbag. Damn it. Alright, Pinky Eye is way better than the um, Burnt Penny at this point. I think we have enough to sustain us as far as that goes. Um, we're going to pick up Guppy's head. And what we're going to do is we're going to check out that mob trap room. Or boss trap room, rather. I think with this extra bomb, I... No, don't... Fucking kick it over here! Dick! Alright, bum friend. Do what you do best. Bloody Penny. That's a good synergy. I will definitely take that. Balls of Steel. Another good synergy. I will definitely take that. Get rid of that. Uh, there we go. And I still want my full health pill, right? Yep. Well, now it's bad trip. Shit. Okay. Well, we could still... Okay, we could still check out what's in the boss trap room. At least for this scenario. Let's go see what's in here. It's an HP upgrade. We'll definitely take that. I think what we do now is kind of just hope that nobody else presents that much of a problem for us. Pinky Eye should hopefully make this a little bit better. And the fact that we are in Horror Babylon state... Uh, for the duration of this room. Actually helps out a tremendous amount. Okay, what the fuck is up with you shimmying and sliding your way to the right? Like a little sneaky bastard. No reason for that. Uh, of course, it's Peep. I forgot about that. Peep is a prick. Maybe we can make use of the fact that we have all these bombs? Okay. And of course, he just... He gets out of the way, in, in like, by the fucking millimeter. Unbelievable. I hope you die a thousand deaths. Nobody likes you. Honestly. You are the worst. What the fuck just happened to my bomb? It just, like, disappeared. Did you see that? I don't even know what happened to it. Pick up a spirit heart. Let's get another charge for this guppy's head. Uh, Guppy's head's not doing too bad for us. I mean, it's doing what it's meant to do, which is generate flies. All right, now the question becomes, how long can we... Um... All right, now here's an interesting situation. Because we we kind of have to pick up the the hearts, I mean, the, the money, in order to, to possibly generate red hearts. And there's another spirit heart. So what I'm saying here is... If we don't pick up the coins, we don't have a chance to kind of keep playing the IV bag. But then at the same time, if we don't, if we let Judgment over here pick up all the, the coins, then we're kind of screwing ourselves out of getting more red hearts to play the IV bag. It's a conundrum, to say the least. But I'm going to play the shit out of uh, these gambling apparatus see what we can get out of them. More keys. That's fantastic. And we have no more plays left. Let's see what this is. Just another one of you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. I'm going to let you get your groove going. Okay. Another red heart. Thank you very much. I think what we do is just let bum friend do his thing. Mainly because I get two plays out of each one of these, uh, IV bag pulls, and then also because there is a good possibility, and here's a temperance card, 
So I think what we do now is we play that whole role. And we got a bad trip. Which could turn in to a full health pill. Alright. Well, that garnered us close to nothing. If not nothing. Bloody Penny obviously did nothing for us. Couldn't do anything for us. Because Shithead McGee over here took all the money. And we used it all like an idiot. But, at any rate, I digress. Let's go ahead and see what this curse room has. A troll bomb! Hooray! For the troll bomb. Okay, so with four hearts. Spirit hearts, no less. We have to try to make the best out of uh, fighting mom here. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Eve, what do you think? Well, at least you're in Horror Babylon State, so there's that working for us, right? Let's hope we don't fuck this up. Uh, it's Red Mom, at least. So that's an easier version of Mom to fight. Oh, oh, oh. Almost took damage there. Oh, fuck. Took damage there. All right. She's poisoned now. And we also have... Dead bird activated, so good things happening all around. We'll at least get past this fight, I think. Now the question is, what do we keep past this floor, as far as trinkets go? I think the answer to that is just simply... Pinky Eye. Although Bloody Penny would be nice. I think Bump Friend, kind of collecting the money and doing his thing, is a little bit more important than us collecting the money. And I kind of like Horror Babylon State, to be quite honest. Solves our damage problems for a little bit. Alright. And we also get permanent Polaroid invincibility. So, having considered all those possible options, I think we're good. You gave us a bomb. Cool. Lucky Toe is interesting. Balls of Steel. Way more interesting. Two of Hearts. Uh, no point in taking it. I don't, I don't know. Another spirit heart. Um, yeah, I think this is what we go down with. So, here we go. Which way to go? Uh, let's go up. Alright. Hopefully these flies do a little bit more damage than what they've been doing. Oh, Jesus. That was close. Oh, God. So, this brain and the spider is the last thing left. Alright. More flies, please. Let's go ahead and see. Nothing but dead ends. My goodness. Just my luck, huh? Flies. Flies. Flies! Why am I why am I doing all this? Just like Guardian Angel do all the dirty work. Okay, don't get hit by that. Whew, almost picked those up. That would have been stupid. I would have been sentenced to death by a jury of YouTube commenters. Alright. Let's... Yeah, not take any more silly damage. What's in here? I think it's worth opening. And ten bombs is definitely a, a great pickup. I will take that in just a moment. This mob trap room is a boss trap room by way of where we are in the, the game right now. Chubb. Not that bad of a boss to fight. Oh, come on. Thought he was going to be dead. Oh, fuck you. I was gonna I was I was literally thinking of dropping a bomb right in his mouth, but then I was like, wait, what if what if he moves at the last second and makes me look like a doof? Ooh, that was almost That was too close for comfort, as they say. Just got this one grub to finish off. And we've got double monstro. Okay. Let's continue bobbing and weaving. Come on. We're almost there. Almost there. Halfway. One of you's got to be close to being dead. I mean, like, real close. I mean, like, should be dead, right? Pretty much. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was uncalled for. Get him, demon baby. Or judge, whatever the fuck your name is. Guardian baby. Guardian angel. You're my guardian angel. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Guardian angel, do your worst. Okay. So let's take inventory on what has to happen, is happening, 
Should happen. Um, we need damage in the worst way possible. I think that's, you know, kind of an understatement. But we need damage. Uh, HP would be nice. In the form of spirit hearts. I don't... Why do you keep giving me shitty pills? Why do you insist on giving me the worst possible pills that there are? In the same one, no less. Like, you know I'm not going to take it. Tears up. Range up. Eh, range up, not so much. Tears up, spirit hearts. Spirit hearts are always, always a plus. I should have walked out of the room. Shit. Could have gotten more of those rocks. Maybe one of those rocks was a tinted rock. You never know on the chest, on the, uh, the womb. I say on the chest. On the chest, you definitely know. The sun card is interesting because the sun card shows us the whole floor. I think what we do is we save this until later, like the, uh, the cathedral. And then if we can get past the cathedral, we're in, uh, we're in good shape. We can make it that far. We could probably make it work. Um, although using the sun card would take us out of Whore of Babylon state, so I'm looking for something to supplement that damage that we're currently enjoying. Um, so that when I do use the sun card, I'm not missing out on that. Pinky Eye is doing a phenomenal job for us as well. Also, the fact that we are every single room, starting with at least three to four flies, is great. That's kind of an unsung hero of the day. Uh, and Tough Love. So, there is that added bonus. What does this pill do? We don't know. It is a telepills. That could have been scary. It only teleported us one room away, but that uh, had my heart drum for just a second. I was like, oh, there goes a boss room item we're going to miss out on. All right, took care of you two. And Guardian Angel took care of you as well. Every time you damage me, man, it's more to your detriment than you think. All right, another spirit heart here. It's kind of vital to success. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this up, to be quite honest. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't you dare shoot back at me. Don't retaliate. Don't retaliate. Ugh. Just take it. Just take it. Love it. I've got to wait for those flies to spawn, because if I don't, they just won't spawn. Wow, you fucking dodged every... Are you behind me? Get away from me. Dirty bastard. Get that? Nothing? Nothing, huh? Alright, fine. Fair enough. Now, if I take two hits of damage, we're gonna have to pop the sun card. I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of out of options when it comes to that. Don't get hit by the... Sights, god damn it. If I get hit one more time. Actually, I might need to just pop it right now. Yep, I think I do. If I took one more hit of damage, I was a goner. Alright, dead bird should be... Oh, you fucking gotta be kidding me. Dead bird is not doing anything anymore. <laughs> Cube of meat? It's, you know, well appreciated. Let's go on down to the next floor. Holy shit. I did see where the secret room was momentarily, but I thought against having to backtrack for the sake of time. Come on. Don't make this one of those runs. All right, a key for a bomb? Fair trade. Golden chests are a huge boon for us should we come across them, especially with bum friend. Hopefully give us more out of the money that they could possibly have inside of them. It's like one of you's got to die. If one of you dies, I think the rest of this is much easier. Ooh, get that pile. Oh, God damn it. Just, just die already. Just fucking die. Okay. Give me some flies. Nothing. Okay, nothing of use. Why am I even shooting at you? Let Cuba Meat do my dirty work. Let's see what's over here. Dead end. Uh, I should probably just bomb and get out of here. But of course, I try to look cool bombing my way out. And everybody gangs up on me like a bastard. Oh, Jesus. Why are you there? Let's head down. There's our boss room, finally. 
three hearts left. Oh god, two hearts left. This one's gonna be a this one's gonna be a close one, I'll tell you what. Let me use the shit out of my bombs. Well, here goes nothing. Alright, don't get hit by the laser eyeballs. Can't just fucking hit it! Use the bombs! There we go. Just you stay over there. Remain calm. Alright, you keep doing that. No, not that. That's the opposite of what I want you to do. Good, you're poisoned. Did you like your orange juice drink? It was poisoned! And I walked right into that. Fuck's sake, man. Bombs. More bombs. Don't stay there. Okay, good. Oh, good. There we go. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Most bad. Most bad. Most definitely bad. All right. This is where the Ankh would have came in great help. Oh, all those flies are dead. All those flies are dead. Yep, don't even come near me. Okay, now we're definitely gonna have to use the shit out of our bombs. You just stay the fuck away from me. Don't even think about coming near me. Oh, that was almost game over. Dead bird, you are a warrior! You are a warrior with the paint of mom's blood on your face! Alright, don't get hit. She should be in permanent bomb throwing state. There it is! Okay. Oh, don't get hit by the laser beetles. Okay. You've got to die now. Okay. Let's just not... I'm trying to focus. I'm reaching my zen-like Isaac state. Which only happens ever so often when I'm trying not to get killed by mom's heart. This is an Eve run, and I know you'll understand if I do lose. But I am trying really hard not to fuck this up for you. Alright. Here we go. Come on. The people are watching. I've got an audience. They can't be let down! How did we do that? How did we do that? All right, well, that was exciting. Let's go on up to the cathedral and get our <laughs> ceremonial ass kicking. Um, let's see, what's in here? Possibly money. Money would be nice if you could spawn... Oh, okay, well, two bombs is okay. That is the self-sacrifice room. We will not be using that one bit. So I think what I do is the clever thing would be to kick a bomb in there or just let it blow up right in front of me. The fuck? Uh, double greed room. Not helpful. See, I was able to kick the bomb that time. Why the hell? I'd love to poison one of you. The poisoning is my favorite part. Oh, God. Greed. No, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. He's back to normal speed. Why did you have to spawn shit right then? Okay, thank you. At least now you're dead. More bombs. Okay, just kick it into the corner. Sure. Deflect it with your tears, yeah. You're a regular Mega Man, you are. Come the fuck on. Let me get taken out by a greed head. Ah, oh, there it is. Well, we gave it the old college try, but, you know, it just doesn't work sometimes. As always, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to like, uh, like, yeah. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe down in the bottom if you didn't like the comments or the, the, the content, rather. You can comment and let me know what I did wrong. Because I love to hear from you, the internet. As always, guys, this is Fuzzy Motion. Thanks so much for joining me on YouTube. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.